pulling back out here on the Beely Good project. Mechanic has worked on that for majority of the day. Trying to get the air condition fixed again on that. It broke Saturday. I don't know if I mentioned it in the video, but he was running that truck when it was like 100 degrees outside with no air condition. Oh, good help. I'm telling you that uh, they stuck it out. But whew, I know it was miserable in that thing. So at least I uh, was able to get the mechanic out here to... It's currently working, it needs a compressor, but we patched it enough to hopefully blow some cold air until the compressor can get here. This thing has beyond needed a bath, but uh, it just it's so nasty. You just wash it and it looks like that in about a, the next day. So over here this evening, we're gonna start moving dirt tomorrow. I'm gonna come out here for a little bit, may go down there and Timmy Doug, he come out here uh, Sunday and bladed that off for me and uh, push that dirt down and uh, dug me a pit over there. I'm gonna go over there and throw some brush in the hole and that'll end up being another burn pit whenever it does rain again. Good chance of rain tomorrow afternoon. So I'm gonna try to work on getting some more of that dug out and laid up on the hill up there. And uh, tomorrow we'll probably focus on that over there, getting that hauled back up there and some more of this dirt cut out and put over here to get this area right here filled in. It is just so dry out here and no air stirring, like the dust just lingers. Anyways, Timmy dug me a pit right there and uh, I come over here and I don't want to throw that in there because it'll probably catch back on fire. But I grabbed all this stuff along the edge and what we had hauled over here uh, last week, threw it in the pit, I'll do a burn pit right there and then I'll end up taking what's left of these burn piles and filling that hole in before I cap it with all the dirt that's got to come out of the pond so i'm going to take off over here towards the pond dam now and probably start another cut to try to start moving some dirt up there on top of the hill so it does look like we got some rain coming i drove the truck down here i'm gonna load until it rains uh jeff's gonna come down here the uh owner he's been dying to uh drive the truck so i'll let him haul a load or two see what we can get done. He's been itching to run the truck. <laughs> they got to dig up a stump with the excavator. Let's see what the dump truck's all about. kitty circle. He can't get out of my range here. <laughs> uh, he gets to go about 100 feet and dump it and then come back around. Nice and simple. That looks like he can haul about eh, four more loads and then uh, he'll have to learn how to back. Dusty. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> Getting it figured out. He's having fun, that's all that matters. So we'll take that topsoil and we'll dump it all up there. I mean, that's some, it's some beautiful topsoil. Get all that spread out. And uh, get that slope where it'll grow some stuff. Moving more topsoil. I guess I could have probably put one more bucket full in the back there. Look at me slacking. Oh, rain's coming. Uh, it was funny, Jeff was uh, got out of the truck, well, was going to get out of the truck so Robert could start driving, and uh, the door latch broke, and uh, Jeff couldn't get out of the truck. <laughs> I forgot to tell him to pull down on the string. He pulled out on the string, and it finished breaking the uh, door latch off. Key information that I forgot to tell because I just don't think about it because I just know the pattern to the jerry rig that stuff is anyways it was nice that jeff had all the tools and robert had the know-how no knowledge to uh put the door latch back together and we ended up having to make shift weld the we didn't have the right rivet so we had to weld a bolt onto the uh, end of the rod there and get everything uh put back together so we could at least use the door so we're gonna haul a few more loads and uh call it a evening it's almost uh 8 p.m. Even though it says 7.46 a.m. should be p.m. 8 o'clock. Last load. We got a uh, pretty damn good lightning storm. Let's see if we can catch one. Oh, there we go. We probably don't need to be out here with our uh, lightning rod. Let's see if we can catch another one. I think majority of the storm is going to miss us. But it's getting dark and a little too close for comfort. at the Beely Good Pond this morning. It rained just enough where there's a dry spot where the truck was sitting. And uh, we're gonna get in there and start hauling more dirt this morning.
end up in somewhere else. Well, we were getting all this topsoil cut out at the bottom right here, putting it up there on the slope where we got all the clay from for that side of the dam. The uh, doggone door latch broke on the truck this morning, so we had to zip tie the door open. And uh, we gotta get that fixed again. I do a, that's gonna have to go to a machine shop more than the little really good shop repair. Gotta drill it out and fix it a little bit better and trying to weld it up. But uh, got a few more loads gonna stack up there, probably dump another row up top and then figure out where I'm gonna start putting all the rest of this dirt. But I got all this cut out this morning. Got this little bit right here. And then we're gonna start working on pulling all that uh, out of here. like a pond now so we got all that cut out this morning I got that big stump put down there in the deep end topsoil up there we're gonna make another cut all the way down right here and stockpile that up there and uh, in case I need to well in case I know I'm gonna need more clay for the dam and then I can fill the hole back in with that so we'll make one more cut right here and probably start taking dirt up there to the borrow pit to get that filled back in just keep working along at it but it uh it looks a lot better with that gone right there you can kind of start seeing the layout a little bit better well we are back from lunch and making another cut now this cut should fill out the uh area up there that I need to fill in from all the dirt we got for the pond dam. And then we're probably going to start in that direction over there and take off, uh, cut that and fill it in that side. And then just kind of see what the weather does. There's a good chance of rain tonight. If it doesn't rain too much, and we can work tomorrow hauling the 
surface material here is pretty good. I'm going to add it to the front face of that pond dam. Haul it over there and get that pushed in and, and everything. And then we'll focus on hauling more dirt up there and to the far side over here along the wood line, getting all that raised up. And I think I figured out where the island's going. There's a stump right here, but it might. Missed a stump. Um, I got a little pile of dirt right here. I think that's about where the island's going to go. I just piled that up so I can just kind of look at it and see if it's uh, somewhat towards the center of the pond. I guess it doesn't have to be in the center, but it would look better, I think. He wants an island. He's probably going to regret it. He's going to have an island. made uh, three cuts all the way down finished that over there this morning got a lot of dirt piled up up there working on the sticks and roots right here now and the ash is going to get this cleaned up probably got another 10 loads or so uh, he's hauling that over there to that hillside I'm gonna blend it into that hillside rake it out and then we'll cap it with about four feet of dirt I'll get all those stumps uh, out and throw them in the hole and let them burn down probably the next time it rains so he's gonna dump that all the way down I'll go over there and rake that out before we start hauling dirt and uh, we'll cover it up. So now we're working on getting rid of the ash piles. That, uh, this will be the second pile that I set on fire here and literally I don't know when this burnt. It's been quite a while and there is a log already smoking right there that I dug up. Absolutely insane how long this stays stuff stays hot for but we're getting the ashes and the dirt roots and hauling it up there to the borrow pit i'm gonna put it in the bottom and then cap it with about four feet of clean dirt over top of it before we fill that in so i'm getting to where i've got to put dirt everywhere now so i'm trying to get uh get all the junk buried that way we can start uh, covering it all up when we make this cut right here might start on it this afternoon a couple loads most of the day tomorrow we'll be hauling dirt out from the island back this way the island's gonna go right there where that pile of dirt is in front of me uh, we'll try to get all this right here cut out and dirt hauled everywhere we can over here And if it does rain, I need to burn that last pile and finish burying, burning those stumps and bury that mess. So 
plenty to do. Just got to see what the weather does. Trying to leave it where if it does rain, I still have something to do. Hindsight, I probably should have went ahead and burnt that other pile, but it is what it is. it was a good day today we got all that dirt that's piled up there out of the pond all these ash piles right here moved started on this cut and uh, I still can't believe these ashes are smoldering like they are so we're working on hauling dirt up here now to start filling this burrow pit back in Robert will be here to run the dozer tomorrow that way he can kind of keep this knocked down and he can drive over all that keep it packed in there and We'll just keep rocking and rolling. <laughs> 